Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a photographer and digital artist and welcome to a brand new tutorial for our one a day Photoshop tutorials for the month of June. And uh, so I hope that you're enjoying these tutorials. Uh, they're pretty short, you know, they're five to 10 minutes long, uh, but I'm hoping you're able to get a lot out of them. If you are interested in more in-depth tutorials, I do have a Gumroad account with uh, several, I think I've got over 20 now, of uh, in-depth uh, premium Photoshop tutorials. These are several hours long and all of the PSD files and uh, the stock images are included. So I'll include a link in the uh, description below if you're interested in that. But what we're gonna be doing today is kind of a quick surreal edit and it's gonna be how to uh, manipulate this uh, pyramid. These are the famous pyramids in Egypt and I wanna show you how to kind of take off uh, the very top of this uh, pyramid and make it float up into the sky. So I think that'd be a pretty cool picture that we're gonna try today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom in uh, here and I'm gonna figure out where I want to move this uh, pyramid to. So what I want to do is uh, I'm gonna just use a uh, polygon lasso tool. So I'm just gonna start drawing a selection here. And I think I'm just gonna go about right in this vicinity right here, just the very tip of this um, pyramid. I do wanna make sure I follow the brick line here. So when I cut it, I'm actually following this, uh, this line here. So about right there looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna click, and then I'm gonna go over here to the right side. And again, I want to make sure I follow that line pretty accurately, about like that. I just wanna make sure that they're on the same uh, plain as these line of rocks. And I'm just gonna continue this selection like that. And I'm going to control C on my keyboard and control V on my keyboard. And that's gonna paste it in place. So see, we have our own um, layer right here of what we just cut out. Now, what we want to do is we want to bring this up here floating into the sky. Um, but before we do that, we need to make sure that this tip of the uh, pyramid is invisible. And so we're going to uh, go ahead and get rid of that background. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, um, make this invisible, this, this new layer that we cut out. Let's go ahead and make that invisible. And what I want to do is um, I want to bring the sky into this place uh, where the tip is. And so the best way I can think to do that is to, um, let's go and duplicate our background. Uh, what I want to do is control click our tip, the one that we just cut out, just like that. And then what I want to do is I want to invert that selection. So go ahead, go to inverse. And now we've got everything that's opposite of that. So what you could do is just go ahead and uh, copy again and paste that. And this is what we have now. So now we have, uh, pretty much everything that we started off with except for that uh, tip of the pyramid. And now what we can do is just take a copy of the uh, the background and then just slide that around kind of like that until you get something that looks sort of believable here. So something kind of like that. You see how I'm sliding the background? See, this is the background and I'm just kind of sliding this around and I'm just putting those clouds about where they need to go so that they're covering that, that area. Of course, it's not a perfect uh, solution. So what we want to do is do a layer mask on this one and just kind of uh, fine tune that edge right there. I'm just using a soft brush, just kind of painting on those edges right there. And I think that's gonna look pretty good. There we go. All right, so let me kind of explain what we just did in case that was a little confusing. Uh, we started off with our background and then we cut out this tip of the pyramid. But then what I did was I inverted the selection so I could create uh, a uh, pyramid picture without that tip on there. And then underneath it, I just moved some clouds around uh, so it looks like the tip is gone. Now, the next thing we want to do is go back up to our tip layer and let's just bring it up. We want to make it floating through the sky. Uh, we do want to get rid of those uh, little edges of the clouds that we have. So a, a quick select tool is going to be good for that. Just select those cloud sections of this and you can just delete it. Hit the delete key on the keyboard and now we have our floating tip of the pyramid. Now, it doesn't look exactly right because it looks like there's, it's only in two dimensions. It doesn't look like there's any third dimension in there. So what we're gonna do is make a layer underneath the tip 
use a lasso tool. Polygonal lasso tool works great. And we're just going to kind of draw uh, the underside of this pyramid, which would be like a square, kind of out of perspective, right? Like that. Click there, click there, click there. And then I'm just going to fill this with a brown color that's already in the scene, just sampling these shadow colors from the pyramid. Put it in and just like that, just painting that in. And now we have a floor to our pyramid. There's actually a floor on there. You know, if you mess up with a perspective, you know, you can always practice moving this thing around or redrawing it, uh, depending on what you want it to look at, look like, how tall it is in the sky, etc. And then one last thing I want to do is I want to uh, clip another layer to this brown box that we just painted. I'm going to get a black and I'm just going to paint very, oops, I'm going to paint very, uh, lightly right here on that top corner to make it look like it's kind of hollow. I think a hollow effect would be kind of cool, just like that. And maybe that's too dark, so we'll tone it down. But that's pretty much all you got to do, guys, is just uh, cut out that pyramid and uh, make sure you replace the background with those clouds and then move this um, move this uh, tip of the pyramid up and then draw that plane underneath it and just add a little bit of a black shadow uh, to make it look like it's kind of hollow or something like that. So I think this is a, a pretty cool uh, way to make some interesting pictures. You can try this with buildings or sky skyscrapers or trees or anything that you want to try it with. Uh, really fun to do. But guys, that's all I've got for this one today, and I uh, hope that you enjoy it. Again, if you are interested in uh, more in-depth tutorials that are several hours long, uh, check out the link below for my Gumroad account, and I uh, hope that you enjoy those. But again, that's all I've got for today, and I will see you again tomorrow morning for a brand new Photoshop tutorial. Thanks, guys.